Yeah, it's it's unreal. I mean, like look at the flags. There's they're not moving at all, so that was brutal. But uh, yeah, you got to definitely stay hydrated. I don't. I have no idea. Um, the scale said, scale said five pounds, but I I probably drank like six, seven pounds of water <laughs> during practice. Yeah. How different does it feel for you going from year one to year two? I know we're early into training camp, but is there any differences so far? Um, no, no, I mean not too much. It's like having fans here. That's a little bit different. It's a, little, um, a lot more noise than last year's camp. It was pretty quiet for the most part. Um, you know, getting to see you guys in person, uh, that's a little different. But other than that, you know, um, having a year under my belt and kind of, you know, knowing the ins and outs of camp and how, you know, how we, how we operate, um, you know, it's, it's all the same for the most part. What do you think about fans being here? Some of your teammates said that they enjoyed it in a sense. It kind of broke up the monotony a little bit. Yeah, it's, I think that's a big, a big thing. Um, I think it'll be good, especially later in camp. Once you get into such a routine, it's just you know the same thing every day. Um, they'll be a little, you know, they'll be able to give you a little um, extra juice for the day. Coach Arians was saying he wasn't really happy with the second half of practice today and yesterday. Is that just like a physical fatigue, mental fatigue type thing, adjusting with the elements? What, what do you think that's coming from? It, it, yeah, it might be. You know, we got to definitely get back in the groove of hydration and, and getting to bed at a good time, making sure we get enough sleep. Um, because, I mean, it, it takes it out of you, you know, going practicing in, in this heat. But, you know, it's, we got to do it all year. So um, I think everybody will be all right. You know, getting, getting these first two days out of the way and um, every, everybody will find their groove and, and know what they need to do. And then we'll be, we'll be, we'll be right on track. Last year you had so many new pieces, not, not with your unit per se, except like for you. But you had so many new pieces um, at the skill position on offense. Does it feel different this year as far as, like, is it quicker or, you know, getting the plays in and out? Like, like, how do you feel offensively as a whole unit compared to where you guys were at this point last year? Oh, jeez. I know you, had, you were learning. Something. I think last year, at the, yeah, last year at this point, I was just, I was just hanging on. I, um, but yeah, I think um, everything's operating a little bit smooth at this point last year compared to now. Um, everything's operating a little bit quicker. I think we, you know we all have a year together and and uh, uh, feel very comfortable with each other. So um, that's definitely a plus. Hey, Tristan. What's the most significant thing you learned about Tom Brady? I mean, obviously, a legend, you heard so much about him for, for many years, and then to get to know him and work with him. The most significant thing. That's a good one. Um, you know, I think he's just, you know, he's just all about his business, you know, especially when we get out here. Um, I think he's one of his – one of uh, his own biggest critics, you know, I, I know he's very hard on himself, you know, he expects a lot out of himself. Um, and I think that kind of radiates on everybody else. You know, I, I know I, I've always expected a lot out of myself and um, I think that kind of just radiates through the whole team. You know, got, it, he kind of elevates everybody's play. Um, but, you know, I know he's, he's very passionate about, <laughs> about playing football. Yeah. Surprise when you when you see how intense he is on TV. It was at first, but then like getting to know him like in the locker room and how he is, like he's got a lot of dad jokes in his pocket. So um, it definitely once you know him like in the locker room, it, it definitely makes sense. Looks like a lot of guys got some ink to remember the Super Bowl. Yeah. Can you tell us about what you got and when did you, you get it done? Yeah, um, I got mine. I got mine uh, probably four, three, four weeks ago, probably a month ago. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I was just kind of looking at a bunch of like kind of what everybody got. Um, you know, I didn't want to get the same thing, but I kind of had my own little idea. And so I kind of just gave it to um, Anthony Jalon, my artist. And uh, I was like, I was like, do it. I was like, do what you do. I was like, I don't, I just want it to look good. I'm pretty open, you know, and he, he drew this up and uh, it turned out, it turned out great. You know, I got the LV, the Tampa skyline, the flag, so the, tr the trophy and he just worked it in. I think it turned out great. I like it. I think the last, uh, probably since, when was that, Thursday? Um, I just go home and I wear it all night until yeah. <laughs> I go to bed, pretty much. How heavy is it? I mean, it, it's huge. Yeah, I don't know how, I told all my buddies it was like two pounds, but um, <laughs> I don't know how heavy it is, like, actually, <laughs> but it's heavy. <laughs> hey, 
Interesting. Can we get a look at the tattoo? Yeah. I'm all sweaty. Sorry. Yep. <laughs> Any other questions? What's the best part of starting training camp? Like on these days that start to run together and it's 8 million degrees out here, what's the best part of starting training camp as a Super Bowl champ? Oh, geez. I think, especially after the ring ceremony, I think everyone was kind of like, kind of itching to get back. Um, it's not like, you know, I remember like all through college, you kind of like dread camp because it's hard. Like it's hard. But I know at this, at the, the ring ceremony, everyone was kind of like getting all antsy, so that was that was really nice. Is, is it because you guys generally enjoy being together? Because you really love what you do. I think or that's. Is the hunger to like, you know, let's get another one. I think I think both. I think it's we, you know, everyone on the team really likes being around around each other. Like, like I was starting to miss guys. Like what we were, we, it was a long time we were away, um, and I started just I would Facetime like Cap, and he'd Facetime me like, oh, what's up? How's it going? Um, but I think we do really like being around each other, and that's. Um, I think that's great for you know the team chemistry and everything. How does it feel to be a part of the Quad Fathers Club? You see that yesterday? They were looking nice, but it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I'm, I'm glad. I got to get a switch, uh, sweatshirt from him. So maybe next time I'll be wearing that. Eh, not a sweatshirt. No, I won't be wearing a sweatshirt out here. I'm, I'm, I'm trying. I don't know how he does it.